Hey there, fellow trainers. It's finally time to face our second gym leader. Bugsy in Crystal Kaizo Plus is normally considered one of the easiest gym leaders we'll encounter. But here is where I realize how I've made a few mistakes that might end up biting me in the ass here. Losing Poliwag on the first gym makes Bugsy's pincer much harder, as my only other sleep option has overleveled while clearing the way to him, which means I can't use them and must rely on paralysis procs to take Pinsir down. I also should have waited on letting Checkerita evolve until level 22 so it would know Giga Drain for Shuffle, allowing it to get into a stall war with it. Everything else on his team I found I have some answer for, but those blunders will make this much more difficult than usual. But we're gonna give it our best shot. Wish us luck. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority on bug Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Okay, it's a Butterfree. That he always opens up with, so we're opening with Satu. Wing Attack. This has a chance to one-hit KO it, but there's also a chance it doesn't. Okay, down it goes. Done Sparse. It should go for Rock Slide here. Go with Kabuto. No, it went for Glare. Okay. That's sooner than anticipated. And a bit unfortunate. Because with its healing item, I need three hits to, to KO it from some mission. It was Drew. Um, Pinsir. Unfortunate. Go for Rock Slide. I outsped. That's unexpected. Goes for a Vital Throw. Oh, because it's Vital Throw, it moves last. I forgot. So the pincer isn't as big a threat, but that Dunsparce is basically going to require a sack, most likely. Um, let me try something here. for Paralysis. It goes for Glare. Fully Paralyzed. Flash Fails. Why Flash keep failing and it keeps getting fully paralyzed? Okay, that's another accuracy drop. Missed. Let's try to go for three accuracy drop at least.
area does. Okay. Um, yes, gotta paralyze. Try for size and toss. It's gonna go for rock slide. Flinch, darn it. Um, running out of options here. I might have to sacrifice Togetic here. Just to get a clean switch in. Or maybe not. Uh, this could kill it though. That could have just been a low roll. Or I'll flinch. Yeah, it's, go it's dead. I'm just gonna have to sack it. No point trying to save it at this juncture. I know what he has left. Still out speeds? What the fuck? Ah, god damn it. Yeah, I might be losing this here. This is probably a wipe. Or at least a reset, because I've taken too many losses. Yeah, and here comes the Shuffle. I know his last remaining Pokemon is a Cypher. I, I do not have anything for it that's not going to require a sack to get in. I probably should have Synthesis there. That was a bad move. That was a misplay. Yes, Bailey is dead. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely resetting after this. This just went terribly. And Kulava is probably going to die to Cypher. Yeah, Cypher up speeds. Cypher still up speeds, okay. Yeah, I'm resetting after this. I lost almost my entire team. Pokemon. My research isn't complete yet. 
Okay, you win. Take this badge. Do you know the benefits of Hive Badge? If you have it, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you, even traded ones. Pokemon that know Cut will be able to use it outside of battle, too. Here, I also want you to have this. TM49 contains Fury Cutter. If you don't miss, it gets stronger every turn. The longer your battle goes, the better it gets. Isn't that great? I discovered it. And with that, we have our second badge. I mean, I'm glad that I found a way to make it through this, but I am pretty sure this is a situation where I am better off doing a hard reset and just working my way back to this point. If you enjoyed this episode of Nuzlocke Chronicles, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more exciting adventures. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.